So welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from February 7th to the 13th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Cancer, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge is the King of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. So your challenge, Cancer, has a lot to do with the King of Cups energy this week. I feel with the King of Cups energy, um, <clears throat> you may be finding it challenge, uh, challenging to offer your love to someone, or you may be finding that the person that you're dealing with wants to offer you love, but you're not 100% sure about it. We're going to clarify the King of Cups and get more information for you in a moment. Okay, now, in the recent past, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Empress. I feel like in the recent past, Cancer, a lot of you, um, there was an offer of love here or an opportunity here in the recent past. I feel like this opportunity that was offered to you was one that really led to, you know, growth, wanting to nurture the connection, wanting to be together with this specific person. We're going to clarify the recent past and get more information on this in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So I feel like with the Four of Swords here in the present moment, a lot of you are healing from something. You're still resting, healing, getting over something here. Um, I do see an opportunity for a brand new beginning here. Now, of course, Venus has just recently gone direct. So you know, this week is going to be a very, I feel, pivotal pivotal moment for you because it looks like new love is coming in or a new opportunity in love for a new beginning is coming in for you with the Ace of Cups. We're going to find out more about that when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the High Priestess, the Fool, and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like in the near future, a lot of you may not know this and it may not be something that you expect because the High Priestess is here. Um, I feel like there's going to be a brand new beginning for you, okay? I do see an offer coming in, like an opportunity. A lot of you may not see this opportunity. It may not be something that you envision or see um, because of course it is a very spiritual opportunity, okay? Uh, some of you are going to have a new beginning with someone maybe here after you you know, if there's been a lack of communication or silence here, there may be an opportunity with the Page of Pentacles to have this new beginning. And there may be a decision here that you have to make in the near future about whether or not you want to have this new beginning. Okay, so we're going to clarify that and get more information for you in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Page of Swords, the Emperor, and the Five of Cups in reverse, okay? So what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you did experience, okay, um, some sort of emotional pain. You experienced some sort of um, division, maybe a separation, pain. Um, but I, I'm seeing that what you don't see coming is, is that a lot of you are going to be getting over that. A lot of you are going to be disconnecting from some emotional pain that you experienced that did create a lot of instability in your life, okay? So a lot of you are going to get back to who you are naturally, okay? You're going through that healing process. The good news that I see here is, is that a lot of you are asking about whether or not you're going to come out of separation or if you're going to be able to... Um, <clears throat> you know, make plans for your future. There's something here about things changing finally for you, okay? And it looks like things are going to start flowing for you as well because you have the um, Two of Swords here. Now, one of the things that I want to say, Cancer, if you're a rising Cancer, um, because the charts in astrology are set by your rising sign. So, 
you know, if you're a rising cancer, you should be watching your rising sign and your sun sign and your moon sign. Um, but if you are a rising sign, what this means is, is that rising sign cancer is Capricorn. Venus was going retrograde in Capricorn. So what this is indicating to me astrologically and through tarot is, is that a lot of you are going to finally feel a re release in your love life. You're going to feel like things are finally moving forward for you. And that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like this person, even if they're not a fire sign, they appear to be a fire sign. You could have been dealing with someone who was a player in and out not bringing stability into your life and that could have been what you are still somewhat getting over i see you are getting over this okay and you're opening up to new possibilities and that could also be very much connected to what is happening um, for you in the present moment okay so let's get into your reading and uh let's get into uh let's see what's going on for you All right, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so your challenge here is clarified by the King of Cups, or the King of Cups is clarified by the world, the Ten of Cups, and the Devil. So right while I was reading your cards, um, I was getting a download. And one of the things that I really strongly felt, like the message came to me uh, right away. Some of you were in a relationship that was super, super toxic, okay? Super, super toxic. I feel like there was something about your person or something about the relationship that really led to a lot of toxicity. And your biggest challenge here is the fact that although this situation has brought you a lot of happiness, it's brought you a lot of um, completion in your life, there's something here that a lot of you are finding difficult. Okay, and I think one of the things that may be difficult for you is to still offer this person love or still feed into this. Okay, um, it is a it is a beautiful situation, but there's something here about it coming to an end. So there's something here that has closed out. Um, it has been difficult for you since it's closed out, but it's something that has needed to close out is what spirit is telling me. And that's your biggest challenge because the devil, wherever the devil is, you know, there's a lot of obsession there's a lot of toxicity okay and you know that may have been something that was really affecting the happiness within this connection so as a result of that it's like you still love this person or you still um, feel very much connected to the situation but there's a reason why it came to an end or there's a reason why you've decided to end it okay and that's been really difficult for you but i see you getting over it okay i see you getting over it and accepting something here okay so this is your challenge this is what i'm seeing now let's uh clarify the recent past let's clarify the queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles is clarified by the four of swords the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles i'm really strongly getting here a very specific message okay so it's not going to resonate with everyone but i feel like in the recent past you met someone okay maybe an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus could have been a, um an air sign gemini aquarius maybe a libra i feel like whoever this person um was in the recent past that you met or you connected with uh i'm really strongly getting this person really envisioned being with you okay i really am getting a very strong connection here but it was like i don't know i'm getting like maybe just being friends with this person or just kind of it's like a subtle energy of of oh maybe we can be together i feel like there's somebody here in the past that really helped you start your healing process so you could have had a friend you could have had someone here that you didn't really think that you would date um, but they were, they were helping you. And the more this person helped you, the more they start to help, they started to help you realize how to heal. A lot of you were like, mm, maybe I can be with this person. So I do feel like this person was really thinking about offering you love, really believing that there was an opportunity for you and them to grow. Tell me more about the queen of wands in the recent past. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Judgment, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like in the recent past, a lot of you were dealing with maybe um, <clears throat> somebody, a fire sign here, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I feel like this person came to some sort of realization about you. And I think one of the things that they came to a realization about was the fact that they wanted to have a new beginning with you. I feel like somebody here wanted to offer you love. 
they were coming in really slowly um but they wanted to you know maybe have a new beginning with you and this is something that they realized okay so for some of you there was two options here in the past um somebody here that maybe you were separated from that you were still healing from once this person disconnected from you they started to realize how much they wanted to have a new beginning with you okay and for many of you i feel like this person was moving extremely slow so you didn't really know where you stood with this person in the recent past and as a result of that there may have been somebody who kind of stepped in to help you kind of get over this person okay um so the story can be you know in different ways um but ultimately i see somebody here wanting to offer you love and seeing potential and having a relationship with you and possibly nurturing um this connection in the recent past okay so this is what i'm seeing in the recent past now let's talk about the uh present moment now in the present moment you are still healing you are still doing the inner work Okay, is what the card the cards are indicating to me um, I do sense there's a brand new beginning that's happening for you and I feel like you know there's a very important message about this brand new beginning that you're having um, so let's clarify the ace of cups first who is this new love what is this new beginning in love that is happening for you cancer with the ace of cups So the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Tower. So for many of you, you're starting to really come to this realization, okay? And I feel like the realization that you're coming to is the fact that um, <clears throat> something here in the present moment is done. It's finished. It's breaking down, okay? Um, Pluto in your seventh house. So if you've had a relationship, okay, um, or if you've been on your own for a very long time, Spirit is saying it is now time for you to accept love. And this is why your challenge is the King of Cups because although something has ended, okay, Ten of Swords, although something in your life has ended and, and it's been, excuse me, very painful for you, I feel like you're now releasing this singlehood. You're now releasing this energy of wanting to just be on your own all the time. There is a desire here for love and Spirit is bringing that into your life after a tower moment, after things stop working for you, okay? So the question now is, are you open to a allowing this new beginning to come into your life because I feel like this new beginning is definitely part of your healing process. This is part of you being open to the process here, okay? Um, <clears throat> tell me more about this healing process that cancer is going through. What is the important message here for cancer at this time? Okay, so the Four of Swords is clarified by the Five of Cups. You have the Page of Swords and the Justice. <clears throat> okay, so for many of you right now, um, I feel, again, you're still healing from some sort of devastating breakup that happened, okay, between you and a specific person. I'm getting that you're overanalyzing it at times. Um, you could lay in your bed and think about the situation. You could lay in your bed and think about, oh, how, how am I going to set this right? How are things going to work out? I'm really strongly getting that spirit is bringing something beautiful into your life, but you don't see it you don't see it you don't see it coming in um and the reason why you don't see it is because we're still in the mercury retrograde phase so you're still going through the process of healing from someone um that you experience pain from mercury in the seventh house in, in capricorn which is your seventh house ruler saturn so there's a lot of lessons to be learned about some sort of breakup um, that you went through and you're still processing that is what it's saying so again that may be the reason why this when this new love comes in king of cups you're kind of th there's this cold energy like eh, i don't know if i trust love i don't know if i want to go through that again because your focus is really on the breakup the fact that things did not work out between you and a specific person and what i like to also say is that with the five of cups you often see this person isn't even seeing the two of cups in the in the back and this is you know, the, the two of cups is this new love that's coming in, this new possibility of love. Um, so, you know, this is part of your challenge and it's very much showing up in the present moment. So let's talk about this new beginning. What is this new beginning all about for you? Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> 
So the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. One of the things that Spirit wants to tell you right now, Cancer, and it's really important that you listen, okay? Because I feel like there's a huge opportunity for a new beginning, um, especially in love for you. I do feel like there's a lot of offers that are coming in for love. Um, but right now, Spirit is saying you need to work on something here, okay? And it could be working on something within yourself, maybe, you know, distracting yourself, working on things. There's something here about you not accepting love or not being open to it because of a past situation and spirit is saying don't allow something from the past that didn't work out to stop you from being able to be open to working on moving into a new direction so you're being called right now to move into a new direction um that's what's happening energetically in the present moment but a lot of you are either ignoring it or you're closed off to it because of something from the past and whether you want to admit this or not to yourself that's what's showing up in the cards here okay so this is this may be the reason why um although an opportunity is coming in it's still somewhat blocked Okay. Now in the near future, there's a decision that you have to make very important decision about whether or not you're willing to take the risk on maybe new love, a new experience here. There is an opportunity that's coming in. That's very much unexpected for you. Tell me more about this opportunity that's coming in for cancer in the near future. So the page of pentacles is clarified by the ace of swords, the moon and the two of cups. See, very unexpected. Like I said, there it is. So a relationship's coming in for you. You don't know about this. It's unexpected, the moon. And you have the Ace of Swords. So Spirit is saying you need to get clear on 100% whether or not you are ready to take this risk, this new beginning, okay? Because it is a risk. And it looks like a beautiful new beginning for you. Tell me more about this new beginning for Cancer in the near future. It's very much unexpected. I do feel like this connection that's coming into your life is very much connected to a soulmate or a twin flame because the high priestess is here. The high priestess is very silent. She is someone who knows all, okay? So when she shows up in the readings, it's spirit indicating to you that this is a divine connection um, and you're not really getting any signs of it. It's just gonna be something that shows up for you. You have a decision here in the near future, like I said. Um, you have the Three of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the King of Wands. So I feel in the near future, you have to decide whether or not you're going to allow some sort of pain that you experienced in the past to hold you back, or if you're going to be open to taking the risk on someone here who comes into your life, who wants a relationship with you, and wants to offer you love, okay? So this is what I'm seeing for you. Now, let's get some advice. What is the advice? Okay, so the advice for you is the uh, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Cups, okay? Spirit is saying in order for you, okay, this is really important message for you. Hopefully you watch till the end. Spirit is saying, Cancer, that in order for you to release yourself from something here that's been keeping you stuck, that's been making you feel like it's nearly impossible to find love or experience love or, you know, um, get back together with someone maybe to have a new beginning whatever your case is the important message here for you is you need to speak up you need to communicate about how you feel you need to communicate about everything you know um not bottling things up not you know feeling afraid like you can't speak up or say what you need to say eight of wands is about fast movement it's also about communication um so i feel like a lot of you in order for you to get over some sort of confusing situation you need to be you need to release some sort of emotion you need to release some sort of feelings that you have because in order to make sense of your emotion seven of cups is emotion it's water energy and it's full of confusion okay so in order for you to get clear on why you feel a certain way or why you feel closed off or why you feel like you can't release yourself from something there's a need for you to express your emotions and that's very therapeutic for you you are a water sign um, so you need to be able to do that you need to be able to express your emotions that is part of your healing process and the more you do that the more you're open to that without feeling judged or without feeling like you're pressured the more you're going to be able to heal and move forward okay this is really critical in your growth and moving forward so don't be afraid to speak up don't be afraid to release those emotions because that's part of your healing process and that's what's going to move things forward for you okay so cancer this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you on the next one bye